I always thought about being a librarian. It was something that I really loved deep in my core. But making the jump to something a little bit outside of that, I never thought that I could take what I learned in library and information sciences and apply it to a nonprofit, but here I am doing just that. My name is Jalicia Jimenez, and this is my true blue story. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. One of my fondest memories is my mom taking me and my brother to the Brooklyn Public Library. Every Saturday we would go, pick out a book, sit and read with one another. It was a beautiful space. It was like these huge, big, wooden double doors, and you would walk in, and it was always just like full of every book that you could imagine. I think that really made me fall in love with reading and with libraries. I looked up the different librarian programs near New York City and Buffalo had popped up as one of the only accredited ones in the state. It was something new, it was something outside of New York City, so we packed our bags and moved to Buffalo. The research element at its core was really something I was drawn to. Data drives informed decision making. It allows you to track impact and that opened my eyes to all the different possibilities. Activism has really been something that's always driven me, especially like as a Latina woman. So I started to think about how people approach information as an other or a minority. Not everybody has the luxury of sitting down, having a brand new book in their hands, and being able to engage with their family around books and reading and storytelling. I remember like when I was a librarian, the boys would never want to take a book home. Well, I mean, would you want to take a book home if you don't look like the characters in the book? No, honestly, I wouldn't. <laughs> Seeing yourself reflected in the pages of a book is so powerful. So, Rakaya Simmons, who's also an educator here in Buffalo, came to me with an idea to start putting bookshelves in barbershops. We wanted to pick titles in those bookshelves that represented the communities that we would place them in. So, Black Boys Read 2 was born. We started with three bookshelves out of pocket on our own. We put them in three different shops around Buffalo. Now we have 12 and then 12 more on the way donated. It blows my mind how successful it's been. We thought, okay, so what else is missing? So we started doing literacy pop-ups. We host them in the barber shops where we have the bookshelves placed. The barbers get so involved. They love talking to the boys that come. It's been so lovely, like seeing parents come and sit and read. We just thought that something needed to be done and we really have the privilege of addressing that in a joyful way. Without graduating from UB, I would not have seen the possibilities that were there for me. I want to be a change maker and that's something that I hope I never lose sight of. I just feel like the sky's the limit.